Hi everyone, it's Loretta again here. I am the creative director of the Your Food Story Project and author of Your Canadian Food Story, Nourishing Stories and Recipes from Across Canada. You have another chance to meet one of the 113 contributors today, and her name is Val. Hi Val. Hi Loretta, how are you doing? I am great. How's it going with you over there? It's good. It's a little on the chilly side, but um, it's it's great here. Okay. Well, you know where there where there is um, food talk, I always say that the conversation just uh, kind of heats up. So whether folks you're you're uh, taking a look at this video and it's uh, summer, winter, what have you, uh, let's talk food. And we're well, I'm going to ask Val now. Where are you from? And maybe why would we want to go and visit you? Uh oh. So you're from, where are you from, Val? All right. Well, I was born and raised in Gravelberg, Saskatchewan, and this is where I'm still located. Okay. And why should we come to Saskatchewan, especially to your community? Give us a little bit. Yeah. Uh, well, Saskatchewan is just the, I think it's the best province to live in, in Canada. And uh, Gravelberg is kind of known as the a little European community right here in Saskatchewan. So it's got that little touch of Europe here. So um, great community. Uh, the cathedral church is amazing here. Something that anyone that goes through Gravelberg needs to go and visit for sure. And of course, Gravelberg mustard. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> exactly. We're talking, this is the area, the province where we think mustard. Or some people actually don't realize that. So you've got this community, this quaint community, and you've got, you know, some some landmarks and you mentioned that you know mustard is part of the the uh, landscape we'll get to why that's so important to you in just a moment I'm, I'm wanting to ask you first of all what drew you to the project and like why be in the book um so good question um but my answer would be is because i was born and raised on the farm i was uh I'm going to say the boy out of six girls. I helped my dad a lot on the farm and um, just being on the prairies, being on the land uh, was just something that was really quite um, unique and very, um, it, it, it leaves a, a strong sense of home for me, right? So um, there was many, many reasons why I just felt that uh, we needed to put Saskatchewan on the map as well as uh, to see what uh, happens here in Saskatchewan. And the fields of yellow is what's so attractive, right? Between the mustard fields and the canola fields. Um, I think that that's just so unique. So uh, being a farmer's daughter, um, it was, I thought it kind of matched what you were doing and what uh, what we were doing here. So it was just a touch of home. Being a prairie girl myself and one who hasn't been to Saskatchewan for a while. You oh, sure, naughty. Yes. <laughs> you sure are, are uh, making me put that down as one of the must to do trips in the near future. And so um, the the landscape and your story, which is in yes in the book, page forty two. Everyone is is story, and on forty three is Belle's recipe. Um, really does take us to what you've been describing, and that that. And so that call of going into the field and just, I was, I'm, I'm so with you because I'm a farmer's daughter as well. And I just know everybody will feel and experience the, the nourishment that, that you're talking about. And so not so much the food itself, 
but the whole story of where your food comes from. And so why not tell us what relationship you have with mustard? Because I know without giving away secrets, it's, it's a huge one. So Val, why is mustard important to you? What, what are you doing with mustard, um, your company, et cetera? Okay, well, let me, let me just go back a little bit when I was growing up. It was something that my mom always made was this, uh, a must, we, we always had mustard and pretzels as a snack coming home from school. So that was just uh, a gimme. And um, so from that point on, um, this opportunity came and uh, Gravelberg Mustard uh, was created and is now my company and we I've really have um, expanded the the business tremendously since uh, 2011 um, recently aired on Dragon's Den in December and uh, from that episode it's just uh, been taken off uh, like fire so it's I'm so grateful and I want to thank everybody out there that for the love of Gravelberg mustard that you guys all have so uh, very grateful so thank you so everybody you're meeting face to face here today on this um, video chat one of our precious farmers our, our producers uh, Canadian um, through and through and I'm I'm so fortunate to be able to um, partner and be uh, rubbing shoulders with with people like yourself Val I, I love to support local and when you agreed to be part of this project and be in the book I just so thrilling I, I'm thrilled with all of the, the contributors I especially just love to um, you know, hear right from the, um, the farmer, the producer, and everybody gets to meet you. So thank you for doing what you do, because I know it's sometimes a thankless job, and and uh, it's it's a hard one. So, and yay well, you for all of the things that you've been doing from Dragon's Den, etc. And so when you're when you're thinking about um, food like the you know you're giving us that picture the the prairie landscape and of course the the mustard primarily um canola etc was there anything else i know i know it's 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 hard to separate you your personal kind of food story from your business food story right now but besides mustard and let's say canola what else would be sort of something that would represent saskatchewan in 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 your mind uh, well, honestly, I think um, we're so diversified here in Saskatchewan. We have so many resources that we have. And I I'm going to pick on mustard a little bit right now just because, uh, just to give you some sort of stats of what we have here in Saskatchewan. And a lot of people don't realize that we have 75 to 80% of Canadian mustard growing is grown grown here in Saskatchewan, and that's that's a huge resource, as well as forty to fifty of the worlds of, mu of mustard grown is grown here in Saskatchewan. So, um, Saskatchewan has a, a great diversity of uh, different resources. Uh, canola again is another another aspect, um, um, but I think we're so inventive here in Saskatchewan, um, and and I see that through some of the trade shows that I go to and. Uh, it's just so proud to be uh, born and raised from Saskatchewan and seeing all of these entrepreneurs come up with great ideas of what we have here in Saskatchewan. Uh, I, there's there's cheese now. There's there's jellies. There's honey. There's um, sour cherries. There's jerky. There's just so much that happens here in Saskatchewan, and we should all be so grateful. Uh, that those companies are right here in our back alley or backyard. Um, it does take a lot to get there, but um, I, I, I think I think we all have the same passion, and it's just uh, just trying to make this a better place and use what we have here and create something here so that people can come to Saskatchewan instead of going and exporting out from somewhere else and importing it in. We have it here, so let's use what we have here. So I think that's very important, regardless of the resource that you're looking at. And 
I uh, would add to that um, that because of our environment and how our bodies adapt to our environment, having um, local food, like eating local food, is more friendly, I feel, and, 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 and it will be digested and accepted uh, throughout the body because it's part of our uh, terroir, ter terroir, if I can say it in French, it's the terrain that we, we live um, in. And so, so it, it's, just this, it's just this beautiful um, uh, picture of the, the earth and what is grown and we live in that, in that area. And oh my goodness, I could go on and on about that because I know that there's so many things that you have talked about and we could talk about that, that are, are similar. And I, and I salute you and I celebrate um, your uh, passion. And where do we find you? What kind, what links? I know you mentioned your, your business, Gravel Bird Mustard, but why don't you give us uh, the links so we can go find you and learn more about uh, the mustard business you're in and hey, buy some mustard. <laughs> well, sure, that sounds good. Well. Uh, you can check me out on my website, so www.gravelbrickmustard.ca. You can look at my Facebook page, my Twitter, uh, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I'm on all of those social feeds. Uh, you can see where I'm going next. You can find where my product is as well. Um, but yeah, like you said, it's that that local that local trend is what we're we're dealing with right now. And even the restaurants, the chefs, they're they're all on board with keeping it local and using what we have here as well. So spread that mustard. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I I love it. Well, everyone. As a reminder of, uh, well, or maybe you, you don't know where to buy the book, the book, Your Canadian Food Story, is available on Amazon.ca and Amazon.com. And I'm currently working to have it available in more stores and uh, to distribute it in, in various parts of the country. So, but you can find it on Amazon.ca and Amazon.com. And if you have any questions, you certainly can uh, email me and you'll find on this website areas where you can learn more about the, the book and contact information and come back often, everyone, because the website, this website is created for you and as a gathering place and for you to, to meet more contributors from the book and other people who would like to share a, a food story. So again, thank you, Val, for joining us today. You're welcome, Loretta. And I just want to say thank you for doing the great job that you've done. I am so excited to read the book as well and to um, see and read the rest of the stories that, we, that you have published in there. Um, just excited to, to see the diversity that's going to be in there and the other people that are, are highlighted. So thank you. You, you are welcome, I mean, and I've read the, the book a number of times now, no kidding, and I keep going back, so it's, it's just so cool. <laughs> One time through, oh, it's going to be many times through, so you are very welcome, and, and again, I appreciate the community that we have through this, this, uh, this book itself now. So everyone, yes, I wish so you, sorry, Val, go ahead. And I was going to just mention, so I've ordered a few of them. So just uh, follow my feeds because we'll be throwing a little contest out there as well on your behalf, Loretta. Oh, fun, fantastic. <laughs> this is also exciting. Well, everyone, thank you again for joining us. And uh, we, uh, both Val and I, wish you a good rest of the day. And um, check out the links and come back again. Bye-bye. Bye. Happy Thursday.